Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. Black heart, sign black in, shining again, asking you to hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. Uh, this message, as you've seen from the title, um, it's, it's about what men can't be, but I was also want you to keep this in mind about the standards. Now, I already said from my last recording that you can't take uh, labels mistakenly applied to another species and then admittedly a mistake by those who apply these labels, especially the first one, and then apply them to men. You can't do that. You see, women want the right to say that every man is a beta or that any man is a beta when they say so. And they also don't want you to tell them that they are beta women. They don't want that. They want one but not the other. We know that already. But now, even though these terms don't really apply, I can say that and it's easy for uh, you and it's easy for the women you know and even some self-styled alpha men to say, oh, no, 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 there are, there are beta men. I could see Donovan Sharp saying that. No, 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 don't get it twisted. There are beta men. Blackheart is a beta male. That's why he doesn't want to say that he's, I mean, that's why he wants to say these categories don't really exist and don't apply to men. Well, that's what a beta would say. But in reality, I mean, in reality, beta and alpha may exist if you're talking about different realms, but see, when I'm in the classroom, I'm the alpha. If I joined the military, I'd be the beta because I'd be brand new at it. If I joined the gun club, I'd be beta because I'd be brand new at it. But as a teacher, I'm an alpha because I've been doing this long enough and I understand enough about human psychology. And it's not just in the classroom, even among teachers, I'm one of the alphas, if you want to call it that, if these terms can apply. So, you know, maybe you could say that certain men are just more confident than others and more competent, but that also, again, depends on what they're doing. I get it. But when it comes to women, it's not based really on just confidence and competence, and I'm going to prove it to you. Let's take a look at men that we know by any stretch of the imagination will be considered alpha because men cannot dominate them except in very specific situations. But men don't think about dominating them even in those scenarios. Let's take Matt Barnes. Now he drove a distance to beat some dude up. I don't know, uh, you know what the full story is, but I know someone that knows Matt Barnes um, and apparently he had a good reason. I think it has something to do with his kids. But I, whatever the case was, and some of you are gonna tell me in the comments section, I'm willing to listen. He didn't do it with no reason, okay? I don't know if I would have done the same thing, but he didn't do it for just no reason out the blue. Now, look at what Matt Barnes is going through. Johnny Depp. Look at what he went through and is now coming out. And his ex, although her own parents sided with Johnny in the divorce, his ex, Amber Heard, became a poster child for abuse victims and abuse survivors and is still getting accolades for it and probably getting paid for it too. Now that's ucked fup if I've ever seen anything ucked fup. Let's take a look at Russell Wilson. Dude was an alpha. I mean a quarterback. That ain't no beta. But you know what? Look what, the, look what he got. Look what's the best that he could do. Um... Now, when I say the best that they could do, some people would say to me, no, they could do better. Maybe if they knew how they could, but I mean, from, you know, for us looking from the outside in, maybe, but see from the inside out, they probably couldn't do no fault of theirs. Let me tell you what I mean. I knew guys like them in real life, except they, you know, they just didn't have the money, but they were similar guys. One of my homeboys. Um, resembles Garfield Bright from that singing group Shy that was, you know, they were killing it in, in the 90s, right? Early 90s. Um, I'm going to call my homeboy Garfield for the purposes of identifying him. Garfield, in addition to looking like Garfield, he was a uh, gangster on, I mean, he was OG on the court. A man could hoop. And if he had to fight, he could fight. He did it. He, he was the one that taught me a little bit about boxing in my backyard before I started fighting in high school. And he has a, a lot to do with why it was that I didn't get broke up when I hit these dudes. 
He taught me how to remove a man's confidence within the first few blows. Thank you, Garfield. And I mean that from the bottom of my black heart. Now, you know what Garfield had? And other guys like him that I know, and I ain't gonna name them. These dudes was alpha, they went down, you was not gonna dominate these cats. But you know what else they had? They had a moral compass. That's what they had, a moral compass. And despite the fact that they weren't nobody's wimps, punks weren't nobody dominating them, they weren't nobody's betas by any semantic debate about what the term might mean, they had a moral compass and were therefore treated like they were betas. Like they were second rate men or even third or fourth rate men. And that's what I see happening to Matt Barnes. And that's what I see happening to Russell Wilson because we know he a born again Christian. What his first wife do? Cheat on him. And she was a Becky. Look what happened with Kobe. Brandy didn't hate the dude, but as far as she was concerned, he just wasn't man enough. How do we know? Because she now we know that at that time she was already in a relationship with Wanye Morris from Boys to Men who was too old for her. But he was more famous than Kobe Bryant at that time. I mean, I ain't going to front. I mean, you know, dude could sing, but he was too old. I mean, I wouldn't tell him to put on them gloves and go up against Kobe. Kobe had the, the physical stamina because he trained for this and he had the reach advantage. He would have put Wanye on his ass for no other reason than that he had just had a reach advantage and some more stamina from physical training. Wanye would have had probably the benefit of experience, but you understand Kobe just had, and look, bottom line I'm getting at is that Kobe just wasn't alpha enough for Brandy. Wanye was. Wanye was willing to mess with a 16 year old Kobe was already about the same age. Look how Kobe got treated post-mortem by Gail King. He ain't alpha enough. How do we know that he had a type of moral compass? Well, I've said that he was already kind of low down for cheating on his wife, and he was. But by the same token, when, that, when he said to that lady, can I bust on your face? And she was like, no. Nah. He got up, put his drawers on, and left. He didn't finish the act. Because at that point, by her explicitly withholding consent for one thing, one aspect of the act, he stopped the whole act. Just to be on the safe side, he still got what he got. And because of that, Gail King decided to go in and try to get Lisa Leslie to join in and tear up his reputation, tarnish his memory. Not for adultery and cheating, but for what he was exonerated for, which was a goddamn low-life crime of rape. Just never alpha enough. Because of his moral compass, Johnny Depp left the United States because they went to war with uh, Afghanistan. He was at the beginning of the, uh, the uh, beginning of the attacks on Afghanistan or Iraq. I'm not really sure which one, but Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp left the United States. I'm not saying he never acted again. <laughs> what I'm saying is that he left residency of the United States, established residency in France because of that, because of the war. He wanted his hands clean of what his nation was doing. Do you understand? You get it. A moral compass. And what does it get these men? Disrespected. You're just never alpha enough. And I'm going to talk about the animal aspect of that right quick. How you going to just never be alpha enough, right? For women to show you respect. I mean, look, if you, Donovan Sharp did a video about that. Actually, he did it a while back and he posted a clip of that video today. He reposted just a clip of it, the snippet about the Orbitz gum commercial. The man in there had everything, but he wasn't alpha enough. And in that clip, Donovan Sharp made reference to Lois Lane and Superman. I've made reference to them. And then I looked up and I saw that he had made reference to them when I was looking at li looking at that video clip. And guess what? That's right. If Superman was real, he would not be alpha enough, even for the low life mortal Lois Lane. So you know, Wonder Woman ain't gonna give him no shot, even though they're more of a close match. Oh no, 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 no. So you see, you see, just never alpha enough. There's a prophecy in our faith that towards the end of time, 
One of the signs that judgment is coming is that human beings will be turned into animals. Now, I don't remember if it's in the New Testament regarding the end of time or not, but this is in the Hadiths of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that certain that some human beings would behave like animals and they would be turned into animals. Now, if you don't believe that, you still would believe that God would not transform a human being into a beast unless that human being did something to deserve it. Well, what are we looking at right now? We're looking at the women in the most materially advanced part of the world in which animalistic mating standards are the least necessary, insist on using animalistic standards by which to assess men and their right to have their own children. While women from lesser materially developed parts of the world are not relying on animal standards by which to assess their men, even though you would think that that would be more necessary. Because when a woman is spoiled, as Western women are, you are never alpha enough. That's what it comes down to. And how do you not become alpha enough by having a moral compass? You can be some, you could be dominant in every way possible. But if you have a moral compass, that'll undo you being alpha enough. And you're right back to square one. You're not only dealing, see, right, right you're not only dealing with immoral uh, mating standards, you're dealing with amoral mating standards. And before you know it, you're going to be witnessing anti-moral mating standards if you stay in the West long enough for them to deteriorate even further because they simply have the option to do so since you're still there. Because you, especially if you have a moral compass, will never be alpha enough. Thank you for being patient while I took 12 minutes and beyond to get this message out. I hope that one day this won't be true anymore. Until, I would say, excuse me, but that was actually kind of a good one. Kind of like a bicycle, I mean, kind of like a motorcycle engine rumbling. But anyway, I hope that one day this won't be true anymore. But in the meantime, I sure hope it helps. Blackheart, sign a blackout. Aslam, Lakeham, and black male power just because she don't like it.